Hi everyone, it is Jen from McLean Fitness, and today I have another CrossFit inspired workout for you. Um, not sure how long it's going to take, but most of it is timed sets. So we will start with a 20 minute EMOM, alternating odds and evens of two different exercises, but it's like a complex. Um, so for that, I am going to use a sandbag, I'm going to use a single dumbbell, and my elevation at 16 inches. In addition to that, I have my jump rope, kettlebells, pull-up bar, so we will be doing pull-ups, and I'm going to use my barbell for a few exercises, but I, obviously you could use your dumbbells for everything if you needed to. Um, so this 20-minute EMOM, we're going to alternate between eight reps of an uneven push-up, we're going to pop it in, we're going to do a single arm row, we're going to snatch the weight up, and then do a reverse lunge. That would be one rep. We'll switch to the other side for eight reps. So eight total, four on each side. So you have two minutes to complete that. Then I'm going to have another two minutes to complete a sandbag complex. So you're going to go down into a burpee, come up, do a row, then you're going to clean the weight up, and then you're going to step over the elevation. That's one rep. So you have eight of them as well. So let's see if we can get this done. Hopefully you're fully warmed up. I warmed up. I don't have a warm up for this workout. So make sure you do something to make sure your body is ready um, for these moves. So we are going to start with a countdown. And I'm going to start with my dumbbell for the first move. And we're going to go in 10 seconds. So it's an alternating push up. Row, snatch, reverse lunge. That's one rep. All right, popping it back. Push up, pop it in. Row, snatch it up, and then reverse lunge. That's one. We have eight total. So we'll end up doing five rounds. I'm using a 35. Or no, I'm sorry, I think I'm using a 30. <laughs> That's two. It's that reverse lunge. Kind of determined what I was going to use. Row, snatch. This is three. Row, four. We're halfway there. It's a lot in one rep. Five. We've got a minute left. So the rest of the time will be your rest. Six, two more. Squeeze the shoulder blades, full body exercise, the snatch. We got one more. Row, snatch, and reverse lunge. This way to the side. We have about 25 seconds. Whew. So use this time. Rest is important. Whew. You're not cheating yourself out of a workout by resting. Okay. You really love yourself to give 100% for the next move. So we have the burpee lateral. So holding that weight front loaded. Cleaning it. Okay. Put eight reps. Drop it down. Push up, I'm gonna have to turn my. <laughs> We're gonna row. We're gonna clean. And over, balance. That was one. Once again, we have eight. Make sure you can get your foot in. If you don't have an elevation that you feel comfortable with.
gonna turn my time up just a little bit. All right, we have four more rounds of each. Back to the single dumbbell. We're going in 12. I'm gonna to stick to the same side. Go in five seconds. Three. Whew. Push up. So a lot of back. On these two exercises. Deep lunge. Keeping that core tight. Still trying to get my footing and my balance.
with your balance. Lock that arm. We're on to six. Three more. Two more. So really just starting is the key. Five seconds. Row. Gonna have to get that towel for the sweat in my eyes <laughs> too. Training your heart to recover, come down, 
and then skyrocket again. Having 20 seconds with that same guy. All right, we're going to 10. Psych yourself up. And three seconds. Here we go. Row. Clean. A deep push up. Wave up. Then clean it up. outer glute on those step ups. Halfway there. I'm trying to focus. That's why I'm not talking too much. I'm not sure you want to. Two more. Last one. It's 
four. Halfway there. focus sometimes you will find yourself just thinking about other things think about your muscles have six more 17 this is your time 18 19 20 one more All right, onto swings, 15, and then 15 sit-ups. Then I'll stick. Maybe I'll try 70, I don't know. Maybe 50 felt good, but. All right, 15 reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, five more. One, two, three, four, and five. Right. Onto the sit-ups. Ooh, we're moving through this set. Fifteen reps. One. A lot of core in these two moves. Two. Three. Four. Ten more. Two. 
four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, five more, one, use your abs, two, think of those muscles, three, because we only have one more round like this, four, and five, we just have nine round rounds, this is going to fly, all right, and then I'll take a break, set up my bar, or my plyo box, for the next, here we go, set yourself up, for just nine rounds, one, two, three, squeeze the glutes, four, weight in the heels, five, six, seven, eight, and nine. We have a nice little ab wrap coming up. So at your own pace. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, last one, and nine, all right, Whew. we're done with that. I'm going to hit pause just so I can set my plyo box and maybe get a little breather. Um, <laughs> and we have an ab rack, six minutes, so I'll set my timer as well. We're going to do three exercises, a little bit of cardio um, involved in this, actually a lot of cardio. So I'll hit pause and I'll see you in a little bit. All right, I'm all set up for our six minute ab rack. We're going to alternate between three exercises. Just run through the three exercises and keep running through them until the six minutes are up. The good news is, 60 reps of jump rope. Okay, so if you don't have a jump rope, just simulate that movement. Um, going to five competition burpees. So uh, full release on the bottom. Um, you can do regular if you prefer doing push-ups, but we're doing a lot of push-ups later, so maybe you don't want to do that. And then five box jumps, okay? So um, we're just going to funnel through those for six minutes. I'm going to start the timer. Here we go, going in five seconds. Don't laugh at me if I miss. 60 rotations. Twenty, thirty. I can feel my knot. <laughs> Only short. Forty, twenty, fifty, four, three, two, and one. All right, competition burpees. I'm just going to keep this here. So all the way to the ground. Pop it in and jump. I'm trying to be really, really energetic and dynamic with my jumps today. Sometimes I feel like I'm being like lazy jumps. Alright. Five jumps for sure, see. Safe. So squat, I like to stand and step. More. Use whatever elevation works for you, or just use squat jumps or tuck jumps. That was five. Back to the jump rope. So this is our cardio set. Ten. Twenty. Three, 
try and alternate the leg if you're stepping down. Four. And five. All right, jump rope. Try to keep moving as best you can. Take breaks if you need to. Come on, step right. Twenty. Thirty. Here, I'm out. Forty. Fifty. Six, seven, 
Eight, I'm losing my grip. All right, not good. And nine, let me move this out of the way. Four, seven clusters. So we're gonna clean that weight and then do a thruster. Ooh. Clean it. One. And two. Three. Four. You only have seven. Five. Six, last one. And seven. Whoo, power it up. I'm gonna be there before I hit the five pull up. So, Whew. both of them really get hard. <laughs> Seven. We 
comes down those shins, eight, and nine. Clusters, last time.
Halfway there. This one gets your heart. Oh, both of them do. <laughs> 20 seconds. Squeeze it. You have about 10 seconds. Three, two, We're gonna go down the pyramid, 40 seconds after this. Really hit those glutes in multiple directions. We have a 40 second round coming up. Don't stop breathing, don't stop focusing. Not much left to the workout.
so I got two on each. We're going on to that pendulum swing. So remember, B stance. So swinging, a little bit of rotation here. So remember what, legs forward, core tight, slight hinge, and using your abs to stop that swing. Okay. Go for the other leg, forward the next time. I think I started with my right. I'm gonna start with my left. Swing, high pull. So swing, high pull. I feel my back, which is the result of my workout yesterday. Be nice for my rest today. I cannot wait. All right, back to that pendulum. So. Now, I'll face this way, my right's gonna be forward. Think of those movement, and think of your abs. Get more oblique, okay. And breathe. Notice my pattern of breaths. So it's all coming from the diaphragm, and your abs. Ooh, all right, back, halfway there. I'm gonna start with my right. So swing, high pull, switch, swing, high pull, swing, high pull, swing. You can use a dumbbell for this. What you could do if you don't want to do the switching, just stick to one side each round. All right, back to my right or my left board. Ooh, don't let the weights pull you forward. <laughs> really need your core. I wasn't quite ready. <laughs> Ten seconds. We have a finish of a rep set, so get psyched for that. Three, two, one. Four rounds, but don't worry, I'm removing exercises. Removing exercises with that. Okay. All right, starting with my left last time. Swing and high pull. Swing. High pull. Ooh. <laughs> Swing. High pull. High pull. Swing the switch. Here we won't need that. Pendulum swing, right forward. Make these last 20 seconds count before we move on to our finisher. Push ups, push ups, lots of push ups. <laughs> over here and quickly explain ooh, our finisher. Four rounds and we're always going to start with 10 push-ups. So yes, you'll get another 40 push-ups in. We're going to do four exercises after that, okay? But each round I'm going to drop the first exercise. So I like to do that, as you know. Um, so we'll start with 10 rollbacks. So I'm just going to do body weight and I'm going to pull my mat out. Then we're going to do eight push presses. So the reps will also decrease, but each round we do, the reps will increase, okay? And you'll see what I mean. You can look at the breakdown below um, for a little guidance. Then I'm going to do a sumo deadlift. I'll use my kettlebell, so I'll do six of them, and then four half burpees. So it's just a burpee without a push-up. Um, the next round, I'll remove the rollbacks, and then do ten push presses, eight sumo deadlifts, six half burpees. Until we're ended, we end with ten burpees alone, half burpees. So... I was going to use my barbell for the push press, but my shoulder is like, I'm sore in my back, so I'm just going to use my 25s and do a push press. Okay, so 10 more laps after those 10 push ups, starting with our 10 push ups, this is four rounds. Let's get it done. Go this way so you can kind of see me. One, flat body, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Head and put it in line at eight, 
nine, and 10. All right, we got 10 rollbacks. This is a one and done. I'm just gonna roll back and come up and jump. And you're gonna use a little momentum. So, one, two, power it up and be happy that you're only doing this once. Three, four, Sumo, eight with the kettlebell. One, two, three, four. Squeeze the glutes as you come in five, six, seven, and eight. Ten, six. Half burpees. No push up. We don't need any more push ups, okay? Seven 
then eight. All right, last time. 10 push, 10 half burpees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and two. All right, and give it all you got. This is it. I'm going to stop talking. I'm just going to go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Oh, <sighs> my heart rate. One over one seventy. All right. <laughs> All right, you guys. I hope you enjoyed this CrossFit inspired workout. Um, it's not what you typically find in a CrossFit gym. Probably a lot longer, <laughs> but that's okay. If you have the time, do it. It's about a little over an hour. So please let me know what you think. And please take your time to cool down. My heart rate is still like super high, 173. <laughs> so let it come down, stretch. Drink lots of water throughout the day. Okay, keep yourself hydrated and make sure. I always say vitamin D, but now I'm saying my vitamin C too. It's that season, that time of year. But I don't know when they'll be watching this. Maybe it'll be spring. Um, anyway, so I hope you enjoy this and I'll see you next time. Bye.